The purpose of this lecture is to help you get ready for the science fair through the use of the scientific method. The purpose of a science project is to find out more about the world around you. Therefore, you should ask a question that you do not already know the answer to that you are willing to investigate. After you have figured out what science project you want to do, what question you want to investigate, the next step is to create a hypothesis. Here you will make a prediction or an educated guess about what you think would happen and why. Now that you have figured out what the hypothesis is that you are going to test, you will need to gather your materials. First, you will need to figure out what measurements you will take and the tools you will use to take them with, for example, length, distance, temperature, mass, or volume. You will also need to create a chart where you will record your measurements and the observations. The next thing you need to do is to write down your procedure. Here, you will use command sentences to guide the reader in how to carry out the experiment that you have chosen. Remember that all conditions need to be the same for the experiment you are conducting or for what you are testing. Also, the more times that you repeat a test, it will be easier to tell that the results you get are always the same or if there are some differences. Once you have completed the experiment and written down your notes, you will need to organize these notes in an easy to read chart, table, or graph. Now that you have gotten your results, you will need to analyze what happened. What do you see in the results? And are there any patterns? After that, you will need to draw inferences and conclusions about why the results came out the way they did. For example, if your test results show this, then that means that. Now that you have drawn your conclusions, how does this experiment help you to learn more about your environment? And how could it help others? Other things that you should consider is that your project should include something that can be tested. Pick a question to explore that is unusual and not like everybody else's. Use pictures to show how things changed over time. Remember, live animals cannot be used for display in the science fair. But prepare a great display board to showcase your hard work and bring all the materials that you use in your investigation to set up with your display on the day of the science fair. Along with your board, you must provide a written report, which will include a title page, an introduction, the introduction will include your question and your hypothesis, why do you think your investigation will turn out the way? It should also have a materials page explaining the materials that you use in your investigation and how you use them. Procedures should explain step by step the plan of how you tested your question. It should explain how many times you tested it and how you measured the results to prove or disprove your hypothesis. You will also include an observations page where you recorded what you saw and what happened. Your conclusion section will tell if your hypothesis is correct or incorrect and you will also tell how your results will affect your future decisions. You will also include a sources page where you will tell where you gathered information for your research including books, encyclopedias, and the internet. In the acknowledgments section, you will tell who helped you and you will thank them here. Finally, you will provide a future questions page. Here you will write down the information that you would still want to know about your topic. And you will also consider other questions that you would like to test about your topic in the future. Many of you are doing very well in the progress of your project already, but I do want to point out 
the date of May 3rd. By this time, you, ha you should have completed the written portion of your project and be editing and revising it. By May 10th, you should have completed the corrections and have begun putting your display board together. Judging will be conducted on the 16th of May. You will be allowed to place your display board in the hallway outside of the cafeteria in the morning. Judging will take place in the afternoon. This is a sample of a display board. I will be providing some titles that you can use to organize your board. The title should captivate the audience's attention. Notice how the hypothesis, procedures, conclusions, and acknowledgement sections are written in big letters and are easy to read. Finally, the charts, tables, and graphs should be one of the main focal points on your display.